Hey, everybody, we're live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with Bleaker. Bleaker, hey. thanks for being here. Hey. Yeah. yeah, it's live. <laughs> it is. We're on the internet right now. We've been on the we're internet on. for cool. these past 11 seconds here. Thank you for doing it. We appreciate it. Thanks for making this part thanks of your New York us. trip. Yeah. Um, uh, we're about to hear songs from Self Made that's coming out on May 1st uh, on Better Noise Music. And so we'll hear three songs from it today. Thank you for the, the preview of the album. What's coming Don't up first today? Don't thank us yet. We, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I feel confident in that, in that pre-thank because I heard Soundcheck. It sounded great. Oh, awesome. No doubt the internet's going to like yeah. what you guys are about to do. Um, we're going to do 1968. It's a song. It's, we wanted to write like a nostalgic song. And then we wrote all the lyrics for it, and we didn't really fact check any of them. It was like, uh, I, we haven't talked about this yet, but like, because uh, you know the line, like, Cowboys always won? So it was like the Dallas Cowboys always won in 1968. We put that in the song. We didn't check it out first. 1998, maybe. Yeah, yeah did they, were they good in 1968 through, or no? Through the 90s. I don't know how they did in the 60s. I know they were yeah. the team of the 90s. Oh, they were the team of the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, artistic license though and you can say whatever you want yeah right yeah okay so anyways and then we there's like a Marilyn Monroe line and that was like the 50s right sounds right <laughs> you don't know either <laughs> <laughs> nobody knows okay we're gonna play 1968 
job. Nice. Dude, that sounds great, man. How do you guys like the... Do you do um, sessions like this on a regular basis? Like a stripped down uh, arrangement like this? Every day of our lives. Yeah, well... Uh, No, we do... um, we, we try to do these if it's like a, like a smaller crowd or a smaller building because we don't want him playing the drums. Yeah. Like, not because he's, he's a good drummer. He's fine, but it's just really loud. <laughs> so we make him play the pad. Is, is this, uh, this environment that you guys are playing in right now, is this similar to what the songwriting looks like for you guys? Does it start as a group or does it tend to, when you guys get together to write... Um, things about the vibe of 1968, not necessarily factually accurate things yeah, about 1968, yeah, yeah. but uh, does the songwriting look like this, or how do these things Yeah, it's kind of like, well, it's usually just like guys? just the guitar, and then um, usually, uh, for the most part, I'll bring a really simple bad idea to the table, and then Cole will change it and make it like more intricate and better, and then vice versa, where like he'll bring something in that's kind of crazy, and then I just dumb it down, and that's kind of how it goes. That's my brother Cole, by the way. Cole. Yeah. He's, hey. he's my little brother. Could you introduce everybody while we're at it? Oh, yeah. This is Aiden, Aiden. right here. He's 12. That's right. Uh, we got Chris from Regina, Saskatchewan. Hello, Chris. He's the drummer. Uh, my little brother, Cole. Cole. That's Mike. I met him at soccer practice when we were 11. All right. And I'm Taylor, the singer guy. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for doing this. It sounds great. I'm really enjoying the, my Tuesday morning so far. Uh, yeah. Thanks for coming here after having had a wonderfully fun last night. It New York's sounds like crazy, dude. Yeah. I got. I have the shakes. I haven't eaten yet today. It's what time is it? Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, in music time, what? it may as well be six thirty a.m. Um, but it sounds great. You guys' voices sound great, and there's yeah. a lot more music left. There's you're gonna do two more from Self Made. What's coming up second today? We're gonna do Disaster. Are you a singer? No, I sang in choirs like way, way back. Nice, yeah. It's yeah. well, like in, like when you go out drinking the whole night and then you wake up and you don't know if you have a voice. It goes like one way or the other. But you can hit the low lows. <laughs> yeah, on yeah. A day like today, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, we're gonna play a song called Disaster. It's my favorite song. Uh, it was one of those songs where we didn't think anybody was gonna like it, and then everyone liked it. So I was like, yeah, sweet. Um, and I get to I get to play guitar on it too. Yeah. All right. They say life is a riddle No man, it's much more simple It's a bastard yeah, It's a disaster Like a car crash out in the country Smoke flies and all I can do is drive away I just want to drive away Every day I give a little bit more Every time I get a little bit, a little bit less They're on me just to settle this score Every day I give a little bit more They say life is a riddle Now man, it's much more simple It's a bastard It's a disaster
Tell me what it's like to fly Tell me what it's like to feel I'd do anything Anything for wings Tell me what it's like to fly Tell me what it's like to feel Thanks, guys. Um, I, I don't. I'm not sure that you had a chance to look around at the uh, the tapes on the walls I, yet. You guys were. I did. Yeah. Furiously oh, busy sound yes. checking. Okay. Wine, Santana Santana behind me. Yeah, yeah, dude. Carlos Santana's 1973 South American tour is what's in that Clash. giant metal that can. Straight. What's yeah. That? Charlie Daniels. Band. They're the reals. Oh. Yeah. Next to Iggy Pop. No, next to Ella Fitzgerald. I know what they are. I just didn't. I mean, like what he was pointing to one. April Wine is like the best band ever, eh? Sounds right. Um, <laughs> sounds right. Can they see you too? Or my, yeah. yeah, dude, I can cut to myself. I am. Oh, okay. They're looking at me right now. Now they're looking at you again. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So considering this room that we're in, I mean, this is like the laziest possible question I can ask you, but I don't care. It's yeah. a definitely a musical influences question, seeing as we're sitting in this like temple of, of music history right now. Can you talk about... Um, I mean, it's a pretty broad question, obviously. Uh, bands that have been important to you, maybe while you, uh, Taylor and and Cole, were growing up together, or maybe while you guys were writing Self Made, however you want, whatever context you want, what Anything. artists have been really important to you guys over the years? Uh, for me, it's, um, I was obsessed with Audio Slave, that got into Soundgarden. Tech, Tom kind of Morello came in but, here and did this. What? Yeah, man. No way. It was Is an he, interview. He didn't actually play, but it, we just talked about no. criminal justice reform for a half hour. And oh, really? It, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Um, we can talk about that too if you want. Uh, um, you listen to what? A lot of Chili Peppers and stuff. Yeah, I, I, like Genesis. Dad always had Genesis playing. Oh and... yeah, Genesis. Yeah, yeah, remember that video? I can't. Well, I can't dance. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was big. Me and Cole do, and our. Do you know by any chance the Genesis Piano oh. Project? I believe. It's I, I might be screwing up the name. A guy who was in here yesterday playing keys uh, has a Genesis cover band who are popular in Italy, and they take two grand pianos, put them back to back, and just play Genesis on two grand pianos for like concert halls in Italy. What? Yeah, I just found this out yesterday. I needed you to know that. That's like the best gig ever. Just playing in Italy and just playing Genesis songs. Yeah. Wow. Um. Yeah, we listen to a lot of Beatles. Uh, you know, like the old, just oh, whatever. Joe you know, Walsh. Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we used to cover a lot of Joe Walsh songs when we were like 12, like at the bars Song and number stuff. Number 49. Yeah. Yeah, man, we'll do it. Um, but yeah, it's mostly like blues influenced, and then we just keep kind of changing. Right now, all I strictly, and when I say strictly, I mean strictly listen to Randy Newman. Sweet. Songbook. It's okay. on uh, Spotify. I just got Spotify. I got a new iPhone. Big deal. And... Uh, <laughs> It's uh, it's uh, go to Randy Newman's songbook and it's like a it's like a black and white picture of him and you know how many songs he wrote that are like popular songs? It, it's got to be a four digit number. Right? It's uh, yeah, it's in it's up there. It's yeah. like a, a couple uh, thousands. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, we've got there's there's two other rooms full of tapes like this. There's a Randy Newman 1973, I think, from the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey. That we've got on tape over there. It's so good, man. It's oh my just God. you like Randy Newman? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. that song "Guilty" just does it. Yeah, man. I, I absolutely yeah. love that song. Yeah, it's good. Um, but yeah, cool. that's what's going on right now. But it doesn't sound anything like our record. So there you go. Yeah, but <laughs> we I mean, got a I piano player now though. So that, that's the influence. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys are doing great, man. I really, really enjoy what's happening here today. It sounds outstanding, and uh, we are only two-thirds of the way through. There's still one more song coming up from Self Made, which if you, the internet, are just joining us, that comes out May 1st on Better Noise Music. So thank you for the preview of these songs right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is what are you guys going to do last today? Uh, it's a song called Cool. It's about how cool we are. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> 
Second verse twice. <laughs> that sounded great, I'm man. I'm a loser. I enjoyed it. It was, yeah, just exactly the right amount of Canadian self-deprecation mm-hmm. in there. I'm going to go watch a couple episodes of Letterkenny later. Yeah. Maybe we can all do that together. <laughs> um, dude, thank you guys so much for yeah, coming and you. doing this. And uh, travel safe. There's a ton of dates. They kick off on May 22nd at the Stone Pony Summer Stage Series in Asbury Park. Uh, you're on the road for a while with AWOL Nation, The Beaches, and Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness. He, came, mm-hmm. he did one of these oh, nice. a while ago. Um, there are dates every everywhere including you're back here in new york may 17th at pier 17 which have you seen that venue no it's beautiful you're gonna love it nice yeah beautiful view of the bridge behind you do this you. again then it's all dude come back in anytime it makes sense fun. for you we'll be here doing we'll play this. the exact same songs and try to have the exact same conversations <laughs> cool <laughs> <laughs> and then uh the greek in la on june 9th uh excuse me 19th june 19th at the greek the whole thing wraps june 24th in oregon and the dates of course are on the internet as you would expect they're up at bleakerofficial.com and best of luck on self-made man it comes out uh may 1st we just heard three songs from it and this has been awesome man thank you guys enjoy bagels or pizza or whatever's happening next yeah thank you, thank you. Probably thanks both. for having us right. thanks